Welcome to this installment in the Excite Pro tutorial series. One of the major ways in which you can monetize the sites you build with Excite Pro is by displaying advertising links on some or all of your pages. Of all such ad revenue systems, the best known by far is Google AdSense. You choose to display their ads on your site, and Google will pay you every time a person clicks an AdSense link from one of your pages. This tutorial focuses on just how easy it is to insert these AdSense links into your Excite Pro pages, and without ever leaving the application. It presumes you already have an AdSense account with Google. Please click here to sign up with them if you haven't yet done so. All signed up? Good. The first thing we need to do is supply our AdSense account information. Click the Tools menu, and then the AdSense menu option. And then, from the window that appears, choose Add. Give the account a name, just so that you can tell multiple accounts apart. And now you need the AdSense ID. It is readily visible in the top right-hand corner of the page when you log into your AdSense account. Copy and paste it in. Then supply the email address and password you use to create your account, although this part's optional. You can also add a note if you want, but the ID is really all the information you need to provide for the system to work. Choose OK, and then Close to return to the main Excite Pro window. Keep in mind this setup's a one-time ever process. We won't need to log into our AdSense account online again. Now, before you go about inserting your AdSense ad, you first need to think about where exactly you'd like these ads to appear. For instance, you may pull much more revenue by inserting the links into one of your main page panels so that they appear on each and every page in your site. But this could end up making your site look cluttered, not to mention possibly conveying the impression that revenue spinning is the main goal of your site. Depending on the content in your site's audience, that may not be what you really want. You may also want to check out Google's heat map for tips on where to best place your ads. Regardless, once you decide on a location for your AdSense banner, you'll need to quickly note that area's width, as this will have an effect on the kind of banner you choose. Ready? Okay. I'm going to place my ad in my site's main panel header, which I can tell from the main panel itself is 860 pixels wide. I open my main panel designer, click to place my cursor in the right spot, and then I right-click, go to Insert Advertising, and choose Google AdSense.
AdSense lets you leverage your site to bring in advertising revenue from Google. In addition to Amazon and Oxado, putting AdSense ads on your site helps you turn traffic into dollars.